Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a requested video. This is my kitchen home tour. So I'm gonna show you guys all the nitty gritty. We're gonna go in the cabinets, we're gonna go in the drawers, and I will show you everything about our kitchen. You guys know that we moved to this home about five and a half months ago from California. We're in the Dallas, Texas area. Our home was a new build, so the way that it was done is you pick like a plan. So they had 17 different plans and then you pick a plan and then that's how you got like the finishes in your home. They did that because of COVID and just to make sure that they could get your home done on time and the materials there. So um, we went with one of their plans and our kitchen is different than I thought I wanted, but I do love it. So here is our kitchen. Our whole downstairs is an open floor plan, which is something that we really, really wanted. It's just a great space for entertaining, and we just love how it's just kind of like one humongous big room. So we have this area over here. Our living room is on that side, and then over here we have our dining table. We have that door that leads to the laundry room and then these double doors are actually a pantry which I will show you guys that as well but let's start over here one of my favorite things that we purchased it was a bit of an expense um, was our GE refrigerator so I just love it I do one of my favorite things about this is this auto fill feature. So you just put your cup under there and it senses it and auto fills it and then it tells you up here, this is kind of the dashboard, how many ounces that you guys have. I love um, how it has the two drawers here. So this is our beverage fridge that you can put at a different temp. So I love, love that. We got this from Home Depot. And then the freezer portion is down here and it has like the two trays. I also love a feature of this refrigerator. Um, I love how it opens this way so you can grab those quick and easy things that you always need. It does look pretty. Um, it, it looks pretty because it has um, throughout the fridge this stainless trim, which I love as well. So we're gonna close that. So there's just a button on the side here, but if you open regular, you get into the regular fridge. So this is our regular refrigerator. Like I said, I do love that stainless steel detail. I also love, if you can't see in the back, it has like, it's the GE profile. It has like the honeycomb back there. But like, I, it's an expensive refrigerator, but for us, it has been worth it. It's just, pretty. We did not choose counter depth. We chose the bigger one. I just think that works for our family and we can fit lots of food and things in there. So love this refrigerator. Our um, counter uh, cabinets, we went with this um, gray color. They are all that mission style. And I do love the brush nickel hardware that we have on there. In the top cabinet, we're not gonna get to go up there, but I have extra cookbooks and just some storage items. Here is kind of like our beverage station. My husband went with the, um, this coffee maker, which he absolutely loves. He makes a huge pot of coffee each morning. He also went with this grinder, so he grinds his own beans each day. Not each, yeah, he grinds his own beans each day, so it's fresh. I am not the coffee drinker, but he tells me it's the best. And then we have this to mix everything up. So this is kind of the coffee area. I do have coffee mugs there. These are our everyday ones, and then this is like other ones. And then this is for our water bottles we have up there. On the top, I keep like our seasonal mugs, but it does go up pretty high. Down here, we have our scale, just things that you use for coffee, his coffee. Um, we do, I do keep our um, little 
things for the oven in here as well, and just a bunch of other coffee items. When we moved in, I lined all of the cabinets because they were brand new and I wanted to keep them nice and pristine. Our granite that you will see throughout the kitchen, um, I'll try to get a close up, but I love it. It's light, um, it has speckles, um, it has a little bit of shimmer. It's just really, really, really pretty. So love that granite. Down here, we keep like some of the larger appliances. So um, the bullet, which you can use to make drinks, our Vitamix. We, this was a new purchase for this home. We got this um, uh, toaster, which we love. Some serving dishes are back there. And then our teapot, which I use all the time. And then some of the accessories for our Ninja, which we love our Ninja. So that is that area. I did a whole video on our pantry, but I will give you guys a quick peek. Here is our pantry, nice and organized. I love it. Um, I talked about this in our pantry video too. I love this little these little hooks that we put up for our cutting board, and then that's our little step stool. And like I was saying about our pantry, it just has enough room for us, and I just feel really blessed. Our old house in California, I had cover, it's not really a pantry, and I'm excited to have a pantry and just a ton of space for our family to work with. Let's go over this area. I keep our um, paper towels here. This is a marble, and it looks so pretty. I think it blends well with the countertop, like it pulls out all those colors. Our backsplash, our exaggerated, oversized gray subway, which I love. Um, and it has uh, like a light gray grout as well. Um, yes, so this paper towel, it was like $7.99 from Home Goods, and I love it. It's really heavy um, and just really cute. I keep on the counter just a few cutting boards. They're from various places. You're going to see a lot of hearth and hand in our home. So hearth and hand, hearth and hand, and then I have various wood spoons from different places as well. Cutting boards are from like Hobby Lobby. I think that one's even from Aldi. I love the marble as you can see, and then this one is from Home Goods. In here, I just keep cookie cutters. <laughs> So cookie cutters for making pancakes, cookie cutters for just different things I keep in there. And yeah, that's our little area for cooking. So let's head on up. So in these cabinets, they go all the way up. On the top, I just have our dishes. So extra glasses, bowls, extra bowls. All of these are lined as well. I have cups, these are our mason jars are like everyday cups that we use. Those are everyday cups and then these are milk jugs that my daughter uses and we put straws in there. Um, our dishes, uh, little small plates and then bowls and everything's white. I like white, I think you can dress it up, dress it down and it goes with everything. And then here is kind of my daughter's section. Um, she's in a, she's six years old, so we have her bowls, all of her plates, some of her cups, some of her little snack cups, and then extra lunchbox stuff. Let's take our way down. So this drawer is where we keep um, our everyday silverware. So forks, knives, all of that stuff. This is my daughter's. She loved these, they're from Amazon. I will have a link down below, anything that I can as well. Um, this holder is from Amazon as well. We have like our um, like steak knives, little knives, and then just all of our stuff. I think I've had these forever from like Home Depot. And then in this little cabinet, we have our knives, our knife block, and then some thermometers to like check the temp of meat and all that stuff. This is a little screwdriver to open those and then this is a little lighter for candles. Let's go underneath. 
Underneath here, we just have Tupperware and all of that jazz. So glass Tupperware, other Tupperware, and just, you know, and then some piping back there, it looks like. But just Tupperware and all of that stuff. Here I have, if you can see, my cutting boards um, and then like my strainer and some mixing bowls, another big cutting board down there. While we're here, let's talk about the floor. I love the color of our floor. I will have like all of that kind of stuff linked down below telling you the colors and also like the walls. I know it's city loft, so I wanted something bright white, but not like too white, if that makes any sense. It has like hints of gray and that kind of stuff in it. Our appliances did come with our home. They are Whirlpool um, besides the refrigerator. So all the other appliances are dish, um, dishwashers in the island but we'll get to that in a second that's whirlpool as well on the top here i just have i can't reach it but i have um like extra just extra backup um barware stuff and so like i was saying these cabinets just have like a picture up there nothing too exciting and extra like barware over here we have more spices we have a ton in the pantry I'll give you guys a close-up view too but we just have kind of um, everyday spices these we reach more for so as you guys can see we kept spices here and then like silverware and all that kind of stuff over there and then in this we have barware so all of our barber items, so wine glasses, it goes up pretty high with all the things, guys. So all of our barware, if you don't have a rabbit for opening wine, like you need a rabbit. And then we have this like filtrates our wine and then we have a little um, beer bottle opener over there as well. So lots. Lots and lots of barware. And then here is the up close of the other spices and oils, just stuff that we use every single day. In this corner, I just keep my wax warmer to make the kitchen smell nice. We usually have, and we actually did this morning, but I just cleaned it out. Um, because my daughter ate the last donut. But we have, we usually have baked goods in there. This is a little blanket ladder that we actually want at Christmas time. Um, we have like a little festival in our town, but we won that. And then this is just a uh, um, tea towel from Target. And here, right near the stove, I keep all of my nap, like every napkins, not napkins. <laughs> Um, microfiber cloths, I use these for cleaning and so much. And then I keep all the extra tea towels in here. This is all those cooking utensils. I have one, another one of those Amazon organizers, but this one is for utensils and just a bunch of random utensil items. Under here is where we have all of our pots and pans. This is our most used pot. I will link it down below. Like you need to grab that from Amazon. We use it for everything. And then just some extra up there. And then same thing to here. Baking dishes and muffin tins and all the baking stuff. So that is actually it for all the back cabinets. I do have an island, so there is storage in here as well. Like I said, the dishwasher is in here. And then we do keep our trash can on this side. We don't have one of the built-in ones, but I love this one. Um, we picked it up from Home Depot. And this first drawer is like our junk drawer. So pins, pencils, extra change random screws, keys, all of that stuff is in this drawer. And then under here, more stuff. 
Um, we have our juicer back there, which we don't use as much. And then this is something for entertaining. So I have a big one that I keep in the garage, but if I'm throwing a party and I want, say if it's just like a family or two coming over and I want to make a little something, I have this one and it comes with this pretty stand that my dad made for, my mom actually gave me this one. It's really cute. And then underneath the sink, um, we do have this Lazy Susan with all our cleaning products, garbage bags. I want to get those clear bins um, that I can put like the trash bags in and this in. And I think that's it because I can't put that in. But I would love to get those clear bins. Oh, probably this. So we just have the button for our garbage disposal and it's pretty easy and it's lined as well. I recommend lining all your stuff. It just better um, things spill. So trying to find stools, guys, was like, ew. Um, I just didn't know what I wanted. I knew that I wanted texture because I've been into the texture lately. And then I didn't know if I wanted something with a back, but it's such an open floor plan. I didn't want to like obstruct the view. So I went with these and I love them. They are from Amazon. They're really affordable. I love the wicker top, easy to clean. The wood bottom, also easy to clean. Um, a project that we are going to do here, I want something in front of this. Um, I want to cover this. So I thought I wanted white shiplap like we have in a few other areas of our home, but now I think maybe distressed wood or something. I'm not sure, but I don't want it to clash with the floor. So that is still a work in progress. Um, I got to think of something, but I want to do something to wrap around. I do love our island because it has power in it in several areas. So when you're having parties, you can hook things up, hook crock pots up, and entertain just fine. But love the stools. They're really good. They're durable with kids, and they're great. Okay, now for our table area. We just hung up these two rounds. These are from Walmart we've had, um, but I am thinking this wall needs floating shelves. So these may be coming down. They may go over here, which we were debating back and forth about, and then I may get do some floating shelves on this. But I do want distressed wood like I have on my mantle. Um, so yeah, in the future, I want some floating shelves on this so I can style those as well. We have our table. Love, love, love our table. My dad and husband made it. I did buy the legs from um, Amazon. They were raw wood, so you had to paint them, all that kind of stuff. But they made the tabletop. They made the... Um, bottom portion chairs we got from Amazon as well I was going back and forth that I want black but I feel like I'm more like white and bright and that's just kind of more of my aesthetic and I always have the table just decorated simply I have this runner from Hobby Lobby I got on clearance and then this was for my mom and then I just put some florals in there and kind of call it a day we do have this hutch over here from Amazon, and I have a few dishes in there, but I always just style it differently, just change it up. A few family photos as well, but I love having this. Um, it's just good, nice decor, and it kind of takes up this space. Like I was saying, this is our open floor plan kitchen and I absolutely love it. I hope you guys like this video, like checking out all of the things in our kitchen i pretty much went in every cabinet or drawer but um thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you very soon with a whole new one and we will keep this rolling we're gonna do more um room tours and all of that stuff where you guys can get really get like an in-depth view of that room and it was just easier to do it this time of year it is valentine's day time so i just put some of the decor I stuck it, stuck it on the side, but um, it's just an easier time because there's not so much stuff to do kind of a neutral house tour. And I love these. We'll see how our kitchen is now and then 
five and a half months in, and then in a year or two years, we'll see how it grows and develop, and I'll have these memories to look back on. But thank you again, and I will see you guys very soon with a whole new one. Bye, guys.